Hi folks, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and today we're going to be opening up the new Blood Bowl game. Now I'm really excited to um, to be checking this out and to be uh, getting it assembled and playing some games because I never played Blood Bowl back in the day, you know, 20 years ago when it was first out in stores. Uh, I'd played a little bit of 40k back in those days, but uh, had never tried this one out. Um, so this is now up for pre-order. Uh, went up for pre-order this morning, and it's going to be releasing on Friday the 25th of November. So, let's spin it around and take a look at the back of the box. So, inside we've got two teams of 12 dynamically push-fit coloured plastic Citadel miniatures, game tokens, official pitch, two team dugouts, dice, templates, cards, play references, rule book, game sheet, and such like. So, cracking open the box, the first thing we see are the sprues. So we've got two sprues of orcs here. The sprues are both the same. So we've got so a couple of uh, smaller guys, a couple of big guys, here's your thrower. And one of the things which I really like is we've got this uh, orc head here with a big wide open mouth with nothing in behind it so you're going to get a really sort of good deep amount of detail inside the mouth as he's uh, opening up his mouth and going Wah! which is uh, pretty neat to see um, it fits in with how Games Workshop have been doing their new style miniatures um, quite sort of revolutionary in how they all sort of slot together and how the detail sort of overlaps to hide the uh, the mold lines and the seams and stuff like that so Two sprues of orcs, so 12 in total. And then here's the Reichlanders. So we've got this sort of really nicely dynamically posed catches, your throwers, and then your other dudes, your guards and strikers, I think they're called, um, and the balls and everything else. So that's quite cool. Next up, we have got a voucher for Blood Bowl 2 on PC um, for Steam and some additional um, DLC. So this is quite cool. It ties in with what they've been doing with uh, Warhammer Total War as well um, in terms of uh, having physical product which ties back into a digital release and vice versa. So that's really cool. Got the dice. So we've got a set of Orc dice and a set of Human dice as well bases and then we've got this little sheet in here which just gives you a bit more detail about the expansions the app uh, 40k and Age of Sigma but the thing I like about this more than anything else is that this as you can see this is taking the impact of the spiky bits of the sprue within the box so if yours is positioned the way mine is this will take the damage and it's mostly a piece of marketing and your tiles and everything else will be safe and secure underneath. So here are the two dugouts with all your uh, trackers and stuff which you need for the game. We have the official rules and two sets of play sheets. So this is really handy because it gives you all the references you're going to need so you don't have to keep going through your rule book here all the time as you're playing. So we'll give this a bit of a quick flick through. So a little bit less in the way of artwork than I would have liked, at least for the first half. Here's your team roster. All right, now we're starting to get the artwork here. So uh, it's pretty cool. It's in the uh, older style of Games Workshop artwork and stuff, rather than just having photos of the uh, printed miniatures. Which is nice to see and has your assembly instructions in here as well as some painting and so forth so one thing you'll note um, the first expansion death zone season one is also now up for pre-order so this book here is the main rules of the game the rules for exhibition matches and for league play are all in death zone season one so if you're wanting to play in a league with your buddies um, and guys from your local area you will need to pick up the expansion as well so that's your rule book here 
then we've got the patch which I will grab a knife and open up and unfold in just a sec. So pitch has now been de-shrink wrapped and opens up like so. Sorry if I'm going out of shot as I do this, it's quite large. So here we go. So this I believe is the human side. And if we flip it over, we have the orc side, which is a lot more barren and wasteland, sort of Mad Max style, which is cool. So you've got uh, options for a home and away pitch for both teams. And then it will fold back up somehow. There we go. We've got a couple of bags for your tokens and your dice and stuff. That's good to see. We saw that in Burning a Prospero as well, so it stops you from uh, losing things as you're going. We've got the transfer sheet here. So it looks like we've got both black and white decals for both teams, which is good to see because then it will um, tie in very nicely with how you, um, which color scheme and stuff you, you choose to pick. So, And then we've got some labels down the bottom which I believe can go onto your bases so you can help identify which players are which. And then we have the reference cards here. Miscellaneous Mayhem. Um, so this is, has your reference cards for the players and it also has your special play cards as well. So that's what's in the box, guys. Um, as I said earlier, I haven't played the original Bud Bowl, so I'm not sure how close this will be to the original. I think from what I've been hearing online the pitch is a slightly different size in terms of the size of the squares but that won't affect your overall gameplay at all which is uh, good to hear. So this clocks in at the same price point as Dark Vengeance 40k so you don't get quite as many miniatures in there but it does have everything you need to get going playing Bud Bowl and as I said you can expand out to a, sort of a deeper experience if you pick up the Death Zone Season 1 expansion pack and the other thing which is also up for pre-order now today is the Skaven the Skaven Blight uh, Scramblers, I believe they're called. So that's the Skaven team, which means you're going to be able to start off. There'll be three teams available for play. Uh, the other thing which is in the Death Zone Season 1 rules are the rules for the Dwarfs, the Elves, Nurgle, and one other team. Oh, and the Skaven. That's right. So that will um, let you get a lead going pretty fast. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you like uh, this video and um, I'll be putting up some more photos and stuff shortly as I start to put these miniatures together and get ready to uh, start playing my first games of Blood Bowl. So until next time guys, happy modeling.